Hi everyone, this is Benoy. So this is the fourth and final lesson of our branch accounting series. So we have seen the overview of the branch accounts, the task method, stock and the task method, trading and profit and loss account method, and also accounting for independent branches. So in this last video, we'll be doing accounting for foreign branches. Let's start. So foreign branches, if you remember from our first lesson where we spoke about the overview of branches, you'll remember that foreign branches are always independent branches, which means they maintain their own records. Now, the main reason for this is the difference in currency. So the foreign branch will maintain its books of accounts in the local currency, and at the end of the accounting period, it will just send the accounting reports to the head office, and the head office will do the necessary foreign current currency translation, and it will prepare the final accounts. Now, there are two types of foreign branches. Firstly, it's integral foreign operation branches and non-integral foreign operation branches. So with the first branch, which is IFO branches, the activities of the IFO branches are integral of the reporting enterprise, which means to say that their main activities are what the head office also performs. So it's just like an extension of the head office, okay? But the non-integral foreign branches, non-integral foreign operation branches, on the other hand, um, they are independent. So they are like businesses carrying on their own activities and at the same time they also carry on the activities of the head office. So they don't depend on the head office uh, but they just do the operations of the head office as well. Now when it comes to preparing the branch accounts of foreign branches, the main thing that you have to keep in mind and the main thing that we'll be doing is translating the currency of the foreign branch to the currency of the head office. So we'll be using different rates to convert the currency of different items and you have to just remember so firstly for all monetary items we'll be using the closing rate so monetary items are those items which are convertible to cash immediately or which will be converted like in the next 12 months or also you know there could be liabilities which will be settled within the next 12 months creditors or bills receivables bills payables debtors bank balance all of these are generally monetary items and they'll be converted using the exchange rate as on the closing date. Now, for transactions which are spread out throughout the year, for example, let's say purchases or sales or wages, salary, such kind of expenses and other transactions which are evenly, almost evenly distributed throughout the year, we'll be using the average rate because it's very hard to, you know, apply the actual rate for so many different transactions. So we'll just do the average. And finally, for things like, let's say, opening stock, we'll take the exchange rate as on that day as on the beginning of the accounting period so for acquisition of any assets we'll take the rate as on the date of acquisition so we'll just apply these rates and translate the foreign currency to the domestic currency so foreign branches ni magnyapka idre bere country alli ro branch ashte so ave yavaglu independent ay akandre avru bere currency alli transact martharala so adike avru separate aga avru accounting records avru local currency alli maintain martharala final aagi at end of the accounting period our head office calls thare and head office will prepare the final accounts so foreign branches are two types the integral foreign operation branches and non integral foreign operation branches so integral foreign operation branches in andre our activities bandu head office martidiyala so adhe our main activity kuda so head office ondu just extension anta helbodu ashte adre non integral foreign operation branches bandu avru ondu altogether different business anta helbodu en andre ange side alli avru head office mad activities na kuda martare so now main ag focus madad bandu integral foreign operation branches so foreign um, branch accounting alli neevu yen mukhyava gnyapka ittkobekandre ee currency translation so yakandre foreign branch bere currency alli deal aguttala yakandre foreign branch bandu avaru local currency alli transact madirthare navu adanna convert madbeku so convert madake kelu points na neevu yakpa ittkobeku so ella monetary items so monetary items andre usually agi current assets anta helbodu uh, but they can also be assets which will be you know converted which can easily be converted to cash ಅಥವಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಥವಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಸೆಟಲ್ ಮಾಡೋ ಸಾಲ್ ಆಗಲು ಇಂಥವೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾನಿಟರಿ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟ್ ಆರ್ಸ್ ಡೆಟ್ ಆರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಲ್ಸ್ ರಿಸೀವಬಲ್ಸ್ ಪೇಬಲ್ಸ್ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾನಿಟರಿ ಇವುಗಳನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಕ್ಲೋಸಿಂಗ್ ರೇಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಈಗ ಕೆಲವು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಈ ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತವೆ ಫುಲ್ ವರ್ಷ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಪರ್ಚೇಸಸ್ ಸೇಲ್ಸ್ ವೇಜಸ್ ರೆಂಟ್ ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಂಥವೆಲ್ಲ ಈವನ್ ಆಗಿ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಆಗಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಆವ್ರೇಜ್ ರೇಟ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಕೆಲವು ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತವೆ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಸೊ ನಾವೇ
ಆಮೇಲೆ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ನ ಅಕ್ವೈರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ನಾವು ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ ದಿನ ಏನ್ ರೇಟ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅದನ್ನ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಾವು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಯೋರಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟಫ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸೊ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ so it's clear that the head office is in singapore and the branch is in delhi so naturally the accounts that we are preparing will be um for the head office which is in singapore the requirement is revenue statement for the year ended 31st march 2019 and balance sheet so now delhi branch has given us the trial balance or we have delhi branch's trial balance in indian rupees so now we need to convert it to singapore dollar so that will be the first step trial balance items la barkondu appropriate rate news maadi convert maadi now dollars ke convert maadkobeku so we will be converting the items of the trial balance to singaporean dollars first okay so now we have all the items of the trial balance in rupees and we have to convert it to singapore dollars what we'll be doing is for those transactions that are spread out throughout the year we'll be using the average rate which in this case is 51 so purchases and sales that spread out so we'll take the average rate 51 then wages will be 51 rent and rates sundry expenses purchases sales wages rent ivellana wo even ag almost even ag distribute agirutte throughout the year so now average so will be 51 ee case alli and for all the monetary items will be taking the closing rate so monetary items like debtors creditors bills of exchange the kala closing rate the velthi so that will be 52 so computer ga ore kotidare eshtu kharcha idu anta so that is 12000 dollars so then now direct ayil parkobodu and even for singapore office account the balance is already given in the problem so at the 59897 so stock opening stock ke uh, it's opening stock ala so we'll naturally take the opening rate which is 50 that is the rate as on the 1st of april 2018 so ikana namge rate ela na determine maadaitu so ig en maartivi andre ee amounts na convert maadbeku so naturally 6 lakhs andre in terms of dollars it's going to be 6 lakhs divided by 50 so that will be 12000 So the total purchases will be 16 lakhs divided by 51. So idella na calculate madadaga namge amount in Singapore dollars sigutte. So after we have converted the rupees to dollars we have to total both the sides of the trial balance and see because it will not necessarily tally like what is already given in rupees. So rupees al kottira amount tally adange dollars tally agutte antha helakagala yakandre now different exchange rates thagondirthivalla so kelusala difference barutte aa difference na bandu now foreign currency translation reserve ge torsukobeku so adu profit athwa loss yavadralla drogutte so ee problem alli na total madadaga it will actually tally okay iga namge dollars alli trial balance na convert madaitu So now we'll just have to prepare the revenue statement and the balance sheet. So firstly we'll take the opening stock. So opening stock now convert madadaga namak bandi irad bandu 12000. So this 12000 will be taken here. And next is purchases. And ikade uh, we'll have by sales and by closing stock. so these four items are common for all revenue statement closing stock bandu problem alli avu cover kottidare closing stock of delhi branch was 15 lakhs 60000 rupees on 31st march 2019 so it's given in rupees and also the date is given so the exchange rate on 31st march 2019 was 52 per singapore dollar so when we divide this 15 lakhs 60 divided by 52 we'll get 30000 so that is the closing stock in singapore dollars now lastly wages is a direct expense because it is directly concerned with the production so adike adanna kuda navu wages trading part which is the first part of this account alli thagoltivi so obviously ee kade jaasti ide so we have more sales and more closing stock so we deduct the opening stock purchases and wages and the balance that we get will be the gross profit 
So we have the gross profit, which is $11,725.49. And that will be carried over to the profit and loss account. So here by GP Bottom. So here we have the Mikiro expenses. So let's start with the rent. Next month we have computer. So computer ke problem only or depreciation ko So computers were acquired for twelve thousand, and depreciate computers at forty percent for the year. Depreciation will be twelve thousand into forty percent. So at four thousand eight hundred. So stay apart from this. Um, you will do parala in the revenue statement and problem will not that we have covered the first point closing stock third point and fourth point so illa cover right now all we have to do is just find out the net profit or net loss so when you total you'll actually see that debit side is more so debit side just the then so balance bandhu namge net loss agutte so this will be um, brought down and it will be actually taken to the head of his books. So we have finished the first point of the question which is revenue statement for the year ended. Uh, now we'll go to the second point and prepare the balance sheet. So firstly, we'll come from the asset side. So we have computer and it cost us 12,000 and appreciation is 4,800 so the balance will be 7,200 so next we have debtors and then we have bills receivable and then we have cash or bank balance and lastly we have the closing stock so what we need is uh, the, the closing stock which we calculated here 30,000 and then bank balance is 10,000 computer we have already taken and then we'll need the bills of exchange and debtors. Now the branch as I've already told you and as I've been repeating throughout the branch is like a, a debtor to the company so therefore to the head office. So naturally the head office is a creditor. No? So the key liability is cut in of us to tour so then I'm head office now. So in this case it is Singapore office. So problem only or quote is a balance is given to so that is 59,897.43. He can't nashtagi then so that will naturally have to be deducted from the amount due to the head office. So now we under a branch bandhu head office kish quote back so it's a loss so it naturally be deducted from the amount due to the head office so less net loss 13,466.67 so this will be to be deducted so another convenient way of writing is to actually write it in the inner columns and then write the um, net figure in the outer column so that just to, to keep things easy and also to make it look good and the remaining liabilities that we have will be so creditors and then bills of exchange so creditors and bills of exchange so the bitray no head office we have already shown so you got total martaka the balance sheet has to tally as long as we have made everything right so the balance sheet has tallied which means whatever we have done is correct and we have shown the revenue statement and the balance sheet of the branch in Singapore dollars which is the currency of the head office. So the quick thing already. So first to convert Marco theory to the currency of the head office game. Um, trial balance of the branch dollars will be converted. So now we'll go and prepare the revenue statement. So revenue statement pretty simple again. So opening stock purchases, sales, closing stock, the early. And then any direct expenses. So e problem only wages matra. 
ಸೊ ನಾವು ಅದು ತೊಗೊಂಡಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ಯಾವ ಕಡೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಅಂತ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ರೆಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೊ ಮಚ್ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾರಿ ಡೌನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಸೊ ರಿನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಪ್ರಿಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಡಿಪ್ರಿಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ದ ಡಿಪ್ರಿಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಪರ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಂಟು ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಪ್ರಿಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ಗಿಂತ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಮಗೆ ನೆಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಈ ನೆಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ನ ನಾವು ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಶೀಟ್ಗೆ ಕ್ಯಾರಿ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದರೆ ನಾವು ಹೆಡ್ ಆಫೀಸ್ಗೆ ಕೊಡೋ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಇದನ್ನು ಡಿಡಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಫೈನಲಿ ಹೆಡ್ ಆಫೀಸ್ ಆ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟ್ ಆರಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಕೊಡಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಮೌಂಟಿಂದ ನಾವು ಇದನ್ನು ಡಿಡಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಸೆಟ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಸೇಮ್ ನಾವು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಟ್ರಯಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ನೇ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಡಿಪ್ರಿಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ತೊಗೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಸಿಂಗಾಪುರ್ ಆಫೀಸ್ balance deduct the net loss and then take the rest of the liabilities so in this case it's just creditors and bills payable so what the cash part so that's accounting for foreign branches so i hope that this explanation and also the problem that we did made this whole concept at least a little easier so this lesson completes our branch accounting series so this is the fourth lesson so if you have not checked the other lessons i would recommend that you check them out as well i have included the links to those videos in the description below so once you check them you will have the complete understanding of our uh, branch accounting so these are the main concepts that are covered in the ca intermediate uh, exams so if you're taking up those exams all the best and also if these videos helped you in understanding this concept better let me know uh, that will make me very happy And I also recommend you to like, share and subscribe if you like this video and also leave your thoughts, feedbacks and opinions in the comments below. So, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you soon. Peace.